share and I've been meaning to share a little bit of an email that we got that just like once I read it the first time it took me twice to get through it because it just had me in tears <clears throat> but it's from a Miss Cynthia I'm not gonna say her last name y'all know I try to protect people's full identity as much as possible but she was saying how our channel meant so much to her and that she was in the hospital with COVID for four months yeah like she's learning how to walk again <clears throat> she doesn't know half of the things that happened to her she doesn't know what her children and her family have gone through i think it's her children yeah have gone through um while she was dealing with COVID in the hospital it's so much so that her story was on the news so i'm going to share that video in a link below i'm not going to do it here because i know they're going to strike the channel if we play any bit of it but i just wanted to share with y'all that we yeah. got some dope yeah people. we do yeah. and you never know mm. who's watching you and you never know who's gleaning from just what you're doing yeah. in your natural state like for real for yeah real. and one of the things that she said she said i can go on and on but i'm not i'm gonna stop right here um i'm still on i'm still on the water <clears throat> and getting back to myself but let you know that I thank you both for being real people. Wow. Real black people. Yes. And to me, you've been a positive light. And we appreciate, I appreciate that about you too. That you are nice and respectful to others. Us as black people. I wow. say, I love it. Wow. And that's... <clears throat> so continue to get well, Miss Cynthia. Yes, have yes. A blessed Christmas. Yeah, we wish you a speedy, speedily recovery. Yes, yes. And uh, that, that, that's what it's about is in this life, it's about helping people. Like that way I told y'all, every time we pick the camera up, we want to put out good energy, good vibes, because we know that we all is going through some type of BS right now. Mm -hmm. So when you come on YouTube, you want to come here as an opportunity to kick back, de-stress from the yeah. day, get your mind off of what happened at work or mm -hmm. what's going on in your family. So the last thing we want to do is bring you a bunch of drama. Real fast. And thank you so much, uh, Cynthia, because that really speaks to who we, what, who we are and what we try to bring to the world every single day. So thank you so much. Yes, yes. Oh my God. So just like we help you, you helping us. <laughs> yeah. And, yes. and don't be afraid, like people ain't about it. If you want to share stuff with us, just go ahead and do that. Cause sometimes it does a lot for us. Yeah, it do. Because sometimes we get some negative things, and sometimes you know, you know, we're on social media. Sometimes things will rattle you, and it's stuff like this that makes it all worth it at yes, the end it of do. the day. Yes, it you know, do. no matter how much you may be misunderstood online, or people just want to misunderstand you. Stuff like this makes it all worth it. It makes yes, it, it, it lets us know that our mission is just loud and clear. Yes. Where's Stanley? I have no freaking idea. He left out of here and was like, don't look at the um, bank statements. Don't look at the credit card statements. I'm doing what I'm doing. And I said, you better not be doing no Christmas shopping for me. And he basically told me, put me in my place, in my place that I don't tell him what to do. And especially, I don't tell him what to do when it comes to me. So I guess I just got to keep my black mouth shut. Because I told y'all I already had my Christmas gift. But it to hoodles. Well, what I'm going to do today is since he's not here, I can go ahead and show y'all what I got in the mail today from Ulta. I did a little bit of Ulta shopping. I try to only do it like maybe twice three times a year buying the major things that I do I use on a consistent basis but this time I got some different things because they were on sale and I was like first on sale why not had a 20% off coupon it's still good till Christmas Eve I might be buying some more skit but that's between me and you so let's get into this haul all right shall we all right let me show y'all what I have gotten in from Ulta like I'm legit pulling stuff out of the box as we go but this is some things for Stanley's stocking stuffer because he loves taking long tub soaks. So Dr. Teal's is one of the brands that he does love. So I saw some that was the hemp seed oil with sativa in it. So I got him pretty much like that entire line of stuff for a stocking stuffer. Keeping on with that theme, I wanted to try the Dr. Teal's melatonin. 
I saw this on TikTok a very long time ago and I didn't jump on the bandwagon. Then I saw everybody else jumping on the bandwagon and I was like, y'all know insomnia is my freaking, that's the beast that I fight. So I was like, I always use the Bath and Body Works sleep, um, the, what is it, the essential oils or that aromatherapy line. So I said, well, let me go ahead and try this. So I have the Epsom salt soak. I have the melatonin salt wash. And I also have the foaming bubble bath. So I'm gonna try this stuff tonight. And oh, I got something else. <laughs> you can't find these in the store, like legit. If you find them, buy two. So I got the Dr. Teal's, the pillow spray that you spray on your bed. They say one, two, three, knockout. I'm gonna let y'all know. Um, for my makeup girls that like your stuff to last without changing the appearance of your foundation or your concealer, go ahead and get you some Morphe spray. This is the travel size. I only buy the travel size because real talk, I don't know how long it lasts before it expires, but it lasts me so long that I only have to buy like two of these a year. All right, then I picked up some concealers. If you don't know about the e.l.f. brand concealers, they are the equivalent of the um, Tarte Shape Tape. Just because they're cheap don't mean they don't work. This and LA Girl, they're always gonna be staples around here. Um, you can keep buying high end if you want to. If the low end works and you know how to apply it, do that. But boom. I had to re-up on my Morphe Define Brow eyebrow pencils. The ones that get these eyebrows nice and crisp. So I went ahead and got three of those because I'm down to my last two and I am never without those. And did y'all know that the Ordinary brand, the boxes look like trash, but did you know that they had concealers? I knew that they had foundations, but I didn't know they had concealers as well. Okay, so it's a very small tube compared to the e.l.f. Well, it might even be the same amount. I didn't look at the fluid ounces, and I don't even see what the fluid ounces is on those. Eight fluid ounces, and this is 0.2, so this is way more, but anyway, so I can't wait to try those out to see how they work because usually the ordinary brand is affordable, but they do work. So let's see. Always keep a banana powder. I don't bake under my eyes. I do set my under eye concealer with a banana like bronzy type of powder. So I got that in the Makeup Revolution. And I got some Morphe Brow Tinting Gel because I wanted to see what my eyebrows would look like if I set them because sometimes you just need to set your eyebrows, but mostly you don't. But there are times where you just want to set your eyebrows and don't want to worry about if you, you know, wipe up against something or have to lay down. Like for instance, when I was getting my back crack, I would never do my eyebrows because I didn't want my eyebrows to be on the table when I got up. So here I have a daily lip brush. So that's to exfoliate your lips and get the dry skin off of your lips. Last but not least, I got some lip glosses. So I got the Ulta Tinted Juice. And then I also got the clear glosses that Shan told me about. And then I think that she got it from Chelsea. And I also saw Chelsea do it. So I was like, all right, that's the second time I've heard someone say that these were good. So I'm going to try those. So that is my Ulta haul. Like, didn't do too bad, didn't do too bad at all. Good old 20% coupon ain't never hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. Yo, y'all, y'all boy is back. And every time I leave from out this room, he tries to come in here. So I just forbid him to come in here. So I don't put his stuff in an Aldi bag. Or is it a Lidl bag? This is a Lidl bag. So that he can come in here and bother me. But that, he did what I told him not to do. He went out there and shot for me. So, yeah, I heard the queen talking some skit about me, but I don't know exactly what she was saying when I came back in the house. But I'm pretty sure it had something to do with me going out and getting Christmas gifts for her. Yeah, we had but, an agreement. But however, y'all know good and well, I wasn't going to let my queen wake up on Christmas morning and they'll open up something from me. I'm not. I, I, I know you said it don't matter. But it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's about the way I feel. So you, I wouldn't feel right. So you're going to circle around away, around how I feel to accommodate how you feel. Yes, in this case. <laughs> in this case, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Fair. This just makes me feel good. Fair. Yeah, even though you got to I knew he was going to do it. 
I still need to get you something, but I ain't, I ain't spending. I a whole hope lot. it's small. I ain't getting a whole lot. No, no, no. I didn't so like I'm the thinking way you about said. your, but I'm thinking about your feelings too. I didn't like the way you said it. Right. I'm not getting a whole lot, which means you don't already got more than one thing. I mean, I ain't saying what I got. Oh, well, how many it is? Hey, I pick up on words really fast. You don't pick up on nothing. You I don't do. know. You don't know nothing. What you talking? I love about. you the same. I know. I know of which I am married to. I know. Y'all knew I wasn't gonna do that. He should have done that. No. Nah. For Din Din tonight, we're doing a, a circle back. Oh, yeah. Back oh. Because last night, I don't know why I thought that. The salmon. Yeah. And the seafood stew. And the jasmine rice. Yeah. But for those of y'all who went and got the salmon and the seafood stew, if you have not reported on oh, how it is, down below. report that. Yeah, we today. To know. Y'all say we're a bad influence, but I be thinking that we good influences, you know? Yeah, we're gonna put y'all on game, man. Hey. What's good? Hey, you want well, once you go on these streets, you're wasting your money on booze, kid. And you want to be country bred like this? Like this? <laughs> you know? Think in the right places? Huh? Eat what I eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. It's official. Y'all, y'all agree in the comments that we need to do a bake-off. So, Mama is not home right now. We haven't pitched the idea to Mama yet. So, but I'm gonna let her know that we're gonna do the Bake Off and she's going to taste the food, but she's not gonna know who it belongs to. And she's gonna give the verdict. So, hopefully the cook off will be in tomorrow's vlog or the oh. vlog after that one. Oh, that quick. Well, yeah. it's not gonna be tomorrow because I have to go get my hair done tomorrow. Oh, that's right. That's right. So it'll be the next day. So it'll be on Thursday. Yeah, I can't wait to sit in my Loctitious um, chair tomorrow. Get yeah. this hair washed and retightened. <laughs> <laughs> so may the best king Woman. or queen win. Let me cut that for you, babe. Yeah, please do. I'm sorry. I was going to try to do it. I mean, I was doing it. I did the fish two-handedly. There we go. We use one bag for the both of us because we're just using it as kind of like a a fancy gravy, real fast. But that's really all that comes in this bag for five freaking bucks. It's so freaking good though, man. It is good. Yeah, for it to be like pre-packaged like that. See, as you can see right here, you see the shrimp that's in it. It has scallops. Uh, what is this? I think it's carries in it. No, this is actually, um, Salmon. That's salmon, yeah. Uh, so, for five bucks, you really do get nice hunks of seafood in it. So it's not like a seafood parade or they got some fake skit in it. It's real fast, real good stuff. Yeah, really good. Queen put me on green bean duty tonight. <laughs> but since I'm on it, I'm gonna show y'all how to take your green beans to a whole nother level. Oh, before yeah. we get there, I'm laughing at this because every time I have to do something that has like 30, 60 seconds on it, I had put this on Facebook and I said, only black people push the button like two, three times instead of just punching in the number. <laughs> and my sister-in-law, who is white, was like, oh no, sis, I do it too. <laughs> So, I'm getting ready to put this in here. It goes on nine seconds. One, two, three. <laughs> Instead of just pushing nine zero. Yeah. Come full circle. Carry go butter, man. Now, there ain't, they, they ain't no measurements on this, but this is about how much you need. About, about right there. This is what I did. That's why I can't lose no weight. Put him in like that. You take your stove and you put it all the way up on high. Hit them with a little bit of salt. Hit them with a little bit of pepper. And you let them boil just like that until all the water is gone, man. All right, when they cook down, all the water come out of it should look a little something like this. You want to keep on washing it because it's so easy for them Jones to burn, man. But I'm telling you, do that right there. Take them to a whole nother level. And if you decide to try it out, as always, come back and let us know how it tastes. Like Craig say, come back. <laughs> but the salmon and stuff is done. All right, one hand gang. It's you good. need some help? You got it? I, I think I got you it. You got it? You got it? Ugh. I see. You got one more. One more. One more. Ugh. <laughs> you doing your thing. Now we got the seafood stew. 
came on top of that jazz and rice like that. Yeah, I'm man. Just saying. <laughs> yep. What y'all know in my T.I. voice, what you know about that? What you know about that? <laughs> yeah, that's what you get right there, man. And I got my salad on the side. Let me, let me, let me, let me clean your fish up a little bit. You know, I just... Hey, 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 that's all going the same place. You don't need to do all that. You know, that like that. You need to Chef Ramsey wouldn't be pleased. Hey, Chef Ramsey is not the uh, cook in this kitchen, Mike. He said... P is for pig, P is for patrosa. <laughs> y'all remember that episode if y'all ever watch oh, Hell's, Hell's Kitchen? Kitchen. Yeah. Man, that episode goes out of history. It's like, what is wrong with your plate? Say nobody can make risotto, <laughs> nobody can make uh, beef, uh, beef wellington, and they be messing up fried fish too. How does that even help? Yeah. It is possible because my aunt told me I fucked up some fish one night. <laughs> she said you didn't season the fish. <laughs> It was a rough night. It was one of them nights that you had a little bit too much, uh, too much dark horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we sitting up here drinking wine, and I'm not seasoning no fish that I'm cooking. Nope. My aunt said, now, now I know you better than this. <laughs> I know you tipsy because ain't all strong. Wrong season, season on you. this fish. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and eat this food before it get cold, and we're going to see y'all on tomorrow. Straight from the VA. Where we live at? The Dirty Dirty South. And we do what? Two up. And we do what? Two down. And we got do what? Holla! <laughs> <laughs>